Saturday. It was worse than this. Wow. I've never, ever seen a line like this at a grocery store before. This is so crazy. <laughs> McDonald's so here's a gang stalker so as I had said here's how we're all parked they think that they have the right to park like this that's what they really think they have the right to do another thing that you'll also notice on the back of these gang stalkers cars is they always have something like this I don't know what the fuck it is but I noticed this on all the back of their fucking cars of these white fucking cars so this motherfucker's just waiting in his car just to fucking stalk me in black shades, you know. It's just really sick. These people are sick. So if you guys go into my history and you go back and look at my other video, um, you will see the video where I had parked at the hotel. Um, I, the car, I mean, the car just like that was parked at the hotel with the same machine on the back of it. And um, I had, uh, I can't remember, I think I had, like talked about the guys being like two gay guys, like that's what they kind of looked like, and it was in Salida, and they always, every hotel that I stayed at, everywhere, anytime traveling, I always noticed that they have these on the back of their white trucks, is these machines, and I know that they are using these as weapons, and they are disguising it as these, as like a welding machine. So it says it costs about $8,000. So what I strongly believe is I strongly believe that they are using these machines and what they're doing is they're breaking the, down the inside of it and they're putting the technology inside of these and using that because this, this is big enough for them to fit in those types of directed energy weapons that they use and stuff like that. So many of these gang stalkers, I believe, have these in their vans. They have them on their trucks. They have them already set and ready to use to torture people and they um yeah every time you go to a hotel you most likely i don't know if you guys have seen it too that they'll have these on the back of their trucks so i have noticed this even back since california that they had these on the back of their trucks so they are using this as a koi and as a way to disguise the energy weapons that they are using